Um, we have a show in Chicago called The Silent Service, and it's about the submarines and peace and war. They had one on about uh, two weeks ago, and it dealt with this nuclear submarine which went around the world for two years and never pulled into port. It was sort of an endurance test for the sailors <laughs> to, to find out how they would react under, under these situations. And the whole thing was kind of summed up in the last five minutes by the captain of the submarine. And he gave an address to the crew uh, just as they were about to surface after completing this two-year trip. And it went something like this. Uh, uh, man, uh, I know you're all anxious uh, uh, to be reunited uh, with your loved ones, uh, in some cases your wives. <laughs> uh, but we have a few moments before we surface, and uh, I've just jotted down some things that I think are, are kind of important. I wouldn't take the time if I didn't. First of all, I, I think we ought to give the cooks a, a standing ovation for the, for the wonderful job they've done. So if you men want to stand now, and let's really hear it for the cooks. Uh, I don't think you men realize the, the difficult problem it is uh, aboard a submarine to... Uh, you men want to stand now uh, for the cooks? <laughs> Come on now, men, let's let bygones be bygones and hear it for the cooks, huh? Look, men, I'm not going to surface until I hear it for the cooks. <laughs> All right, that, that, that's a little better. Uh, today, as we add another glorious page to the history of the USS Codfish... <laughs> I, th I think it's important that we reflect on some of the past glories of the codfish. Uh, I don't know how many of you men know this, but the codfish holds a record for the most Japanese tonnage sunk, uh, being comprised of uh, five freighters and uh, 15 aircraft carriers, uh, a truly enviable record. Uh, unfortunately, they were sunk in 1954. <laughs> However, it stands as the, the largest peacetime tonnage ever, ever seen. Uh, our voyage has received a lot of coverage in the newspaper, and uh, I'd like to present our side of it. Uh, I think our firing on Miami Beach uh, can best be termed ill-timed. It, it happened on what they call in the newspaper business a slow news day. And uh, as a result, uh, received uh, a lot more space than I think it, I think it deserved, uh, since it was the off-season down there. Uh, man, I think you'll agree, I've been, I've been pretty lax as far as discipline is concerned, and uh, uh, golly, nobody enjoys a joke more than I do. But I would like the executive officer returned. <laughs> Now, uh, we've looked in the torpedo tubes, uh, we've looked in, in, your, in your bags, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's been over two weeks, man, and I, we're, we're, just, we're just damn lucky that it wasn't a, the navigational officer or someone, someone real important like that. Uh, looking back on the mutiny... Uh, I think a lot of the trouble stemmed from the fact that uh, you men weren't, weren't coming to me with your problems. Uh, as I told you, uh, the door to my office is always open. I think you know why it's always open. That was stolen. I'd like that. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like the work of the, the same uh, man. But since we started the cruise on such a low note, I, I think it's important that we try to end it on a high note. And to me, there is, there is nothing more impressive in the Navy uh, as a submarine breaks water uh, to see a, a bunch of sailors in, in their dress blues uh, as, as they come rushing up out of the... Um, oh, the... Um, oh, that, that hole there. And, and come to a parade rest. This, this to me, is one of the... Uh, oh, oh, all right. Uh, I, men, I've just been notified... Uh, that will be surfacing in just a moment. And uh, you might be happy to know that you'll be gazing on the familiar skyline of either New York City <laughs> or Buenos Aires, is that? I can't... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Right, dismiss, man, that's all.